be working with my blue group today. So Tia, Lila, Nora, Ethan, Jay, if you um, could stay in my meeting, if you are my blue group, my other friends, your job is to head to Lexia today. Classmates, where are you headed? Lexia. Are we sure? That seemed hesitant. Classmates, where are we headed? Lexia. Lexia. Good teammates, where are we headed? Lexia. Good. Repeat after me. Leave. Rejoin. Lexia. It's Lexia time. Blue group, please stay put. Everyone else, it's Lexia time. Nora, can you come on up to the same spot you were in before, please? All right, Sophia, Ethan, Jay, Leela, and Nora, while you guys are starting to read your story, so Nora, you can go ahead and read the story that you have in front of you. While you guys are finding the story, I'm going to do a quick sweep to make sure that everybody's okay on their computers, and then I'll be right back. Thank you, Sophia. Leela, could you tell me what page you're on? And unmute to read aloud. chair to show me your best reading position. Thank you. And then Leela, can you go back to the sentence that you said, yes, that is easy. I can do that. Do you see that? Yes, that is easy. Look at that word where you say that is. It has an apostrophe. That apostrophe S. I'm learning that in Smarty. Perfect. Well, like two words together. It is two that. words. So you put that, that is together, and you put an apostrophe where the missing letter is. Letter is. Right, what? and do you, do you know what that word would become? If you have that mm -hmm. is and you put it together with an apostrophe, what word does it become? That. That's. Could you read that sentence one more time with the word that? Oh, read it one more time. I heard, yes, that is easy. Try again. Yes, that is, yes, that is, I can do that. Good job, reader. Go ahead and keep going. Ethan J., can you come back to your computer? Did you finish your story? Yes. Okay, what do we do when we finish our story? Read it again. Read it again. Can you start over? I'd love to hear you read a page or two. Okay. I'm going to do the first one. Oh, I'd love that. Keep your berries tippet, said Mrs. <laughs> Scurvy, but I don't like them, said Tippet. I'm sorry, you don't like them, but berries are good for chipmunks, so you must take at least ten bites for five, Mrs. Scurvy. Go ahead and read one more page for me. Okay. Ten bites, that's too many, said Tippet. Well, I can you take one bite of Mr. Scurvy? Yes, that's easy. I can do that. So to bit, he took one bite. Can you take two Ethan J., I love that you're reading beautifully, but I'd love you to slow down a little bit so we can really hear those punctuation marks. Right now, it sounds like it's almost one sentence. Could you slow down your voice a little bit so that when you're in between those sentences, you take a little breath so we know that it's a new sentence. Go for it. Yes, that's easy. I can do that too, said Tippet. Nora, what page are you on? Can you read a little bit louder for me? Hey, Dad. Uh, hey, Dad. Uh, Tippet, will, will you give us 38? 
30 of your seeds. Readers. Yeah. Readers in my small group, Ethan, Jay, Sophia, Leela, and Nora. If you're not done with the story, that's okay. But can you close your book if you're in the if you're using a book? And if you're one of my friends on the computers, can you come back to me and can you pretend to be taking a picture to show me that you are back on my screen? Okay. Nora, I know you really, really want to finish, but would you mind closing it? That would be super. Ethan, Jay, can you take a picture when you can see me again? Good. I'm going to share my screen with you guys because I want to point out something that our great, that great readers did today that was really, really nice to see. You guys did a fabulous job reading this story. I know that sometimes we don't get to finish it as a group because... Um, it's a little bit longer, right? We talked about how this is a chapter book, and so it's a little bit longer for us to finish. But um, I'm going to have you guys look at our screen. Nora, would you mind walking into our meeting so you can see the same thing? All right. Um, so, Nora, can you see my screen now? Fabulous. Friends, I wanted to go to this page because when um, Leela was reading this page, she pointed out the word that. So we, she originally read, and Leela, is it okay if I use your example? Okay. She said, yes, that is easy. And then we paused and we had a conversation, Ethan Jay, about how the word that is the word that is, and when you put them together with an apostrophe, it becomes the word that's. So Leela knew that it was the word that's, but in her head she was reading it that is. So she slowed down and she read the word that. Fabulous job, Leela, recognizing that, that contraction of a word. Ethan Jay, when he was reading today, slowed down so that he could find punctuation marks a little bit easier. So he slowed down his voice so we could hear those punctuation marks. Sophia, you did a fabulous job with expression today. And Nora, you did a fabulous job with expression. You're trying to finish that book, aren't you? Can you close it for me so I can compliment your great work for you? I know it's so hard. Thanks, dear. I'll give you time to finish it later today, okay? Okay. okay. Um, so Nora and Sophia recognized that when they were reading and they noticed those punctuation marks, that question mark at the end of their sentence, their voice went a little bit up at the end, like we talked about. You can say, instead of saying, can you take three bites, asked Mrs. Scurry, they said, can you take three bites, asked Mrs. Scurry. And their voice changed a little bit to reflect that they were asking a question. Really, really nice job. I want to discuss Tell me, and we talked a little bit about this yesterday when we read it the first time, but how did Tidbit and Morsel end up tricking Mr. Scurry? Raise your hand if you know, how did Tidbit and Morsel trick Mr. Scurry? What do you guys think? How did they trick them? Anyone know? Think about how Morsel was tricked by his mom. How did Tidbit and Morsel trick Mr. Scurry? Who knows? Sophia, what do you know? I have a feeling they were just counting by ones. Okay, maybe they were counting by ones. You know what? I want to figure out exactly how they tricked them. Nora, I close that book. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, on my whiteboard, I'm going to share the numbers of how Tippett and Morsel ended up tricking Mr. Scurry into so many seats. Readers, can you find your lime green mm -hmm. writing journals? You know those little happy journals that we like to write in? Do you have yours at school, Nora? Your small green journal? No. Mm -hmm. Can you get your blue journal for me and a pencil? Leela, do you know about the lime green journal that I'm, think I'm thinking of? The, the small green journal? Exactly, Leela. Thanks for holding it up. So Ethan, Jay, and Sophia, if you're not quite sure what you need, you are going to pull out that journal. Good. And open up to a new page. I'm going to do a quick sweep through, make sure that my classmates are doing okay on their lessons. Go ahead and open up to a new page. We're going to write about the tricks in the story. All right, readers. 
I see that you have your your journals. Can we give each other a fantastic cheer for doing such a good job so far? Are you ready? Let's spray the screen and make sure that we are ready to say we're fantastic. Ready? Mm -hmm. Love and <laughs> Fantastic. Good job, fantastic readers. You should be opening up to a new page right now. And you're going to spend some time writing about the math tricks that happen in the story. So you might start with, I'm going to open up my page so you guys can see. What happened? How did Tidbit and Morsel use math tricks? Or how was Morsel trick? Tell me, why was, why was the title called Math Tricks? The title of that story was called Math Tricks. Why? Nora, why was it called Math Tricks? Because they were tricking people with math. They were tricking people with math. It was called Math Tricks because they're tricking people with math. That's true. They're tricking people with math. That makes a lot of sense. We just saw that with the math problem that we were able to do, right? So I want you to write it about that. Just take a couple of minutes and see how you can write that in your journal. Tidbit and morsel used math tricks by, or morsel was tricked. I'm going to put on my, on my page, I'm going to put some of those key words that we talked about. Tidbit, morsel, math tricks. See how you can use these words to write about what happened in the story. Go ahead and take just a couple minutes. I'm going to play some quiet music. You can raise your hand if you need help during that time. Quiet music. Two minutes to see how you can write about the story. If you can tilt your screen so I can see your writing while you write, you don't need to see much on my screen. writing, Sophia. I love that you're using character names. Good job. Good. Nora is writing about the story by starting with the word first. Maybe that's an approach that you want to take. First... Next, then. About 30 more seconds before we'll have to pause and finish this in our next group. See what you can do. Impress yourself. 30 seconds. Ethan, Jay, can you tilt your screen again? comfortable sharing. Does anyone want to share what they wrote down or what they would have written down? Sophie, I could tell you got a lot of thoughts down during that time. Tell me what you wrote. What I wrote is a scary trick to put in to eat in his berries. And then I didn't finish his sentence for what I had so far. And to the trick morsel. Good job. Would anybody add anything to that? Or did they have their own ideas that they wanted to share? Not right now. You guys look like you're so busy writing. All right, readers, Nora, Leela, Ethan, Jane, Sophia, can we do a quick roller coaster cheer for your great work today before we end? Ready? Ready, Nora? No. Ready? Good job, readers. You guys can start cleaning up. You can either finish at a later time or you can finish it after school if you so choose. Go ahead and start putting your things away and put your hands on your head when you're ready so that I can see. I'm going to go ahead and let the, um, our, the rest of our classmates back in. Good job, friends.